Do you know somebody who has what's called long haul COVID syndrome? It's a real thing. Some people who have gotten COVID have never 100% come back to normal. And in my book, it is behaving a lot like fibromyalgia does when someone has had mono back in their history and they develop fibromyalgia later on. There are certain things you can do to help yourself that will help this virus to go more 100% dormant in your body. It really comes down to supporting your nervous system and being sure that your vitamin D and your vitamin B12 and folate are optimized. So I have a handout I've given my clients for many, many years called Maintaining a Healthy Nervous System. I'm using it so I don't forget any of these steps, but I'm gonna read them off, and if you'd like a copy of this, DM me and I'll send it to you. So these are the things that irritate your nerves that if you can get them out of your life as much as possible, will help you to recover from any viral illness more thoroughly. So the first is electromagnetic fields, particularly in your sleeping environment. So that would be things like cell phones, TVs, iPads, um, even digital clocks. These things all emit energy. And when you're sleeping at night, your nervous system is really trying to slow down and relax and rejuvenate. So if you've got your cell phone next to you recharging, you really can't get that deep re relaxation that you need you know, to restore your nervous system. So that is a super important one. It's actually one of the biggest things I have all my clients do as a first step, create a safe sleeping environment. Okay, number two, all products that contain artificial sweeteners are going to create irritation on your nervous system. I just was working with somebody um, yesterday who you know, doesn't use diet things and sugar-free things, but unbeknownst to them, had started an electrolyte drink for working out and it had sucralose in it. So you can do an internet search, what are the names artificial sweeteners uh, go by? And then you can, you know, discover for yourself. But all of these artificial sweeteners are nerve irritants. The exceptions are um, stevia and xylitol. They are, they don't irritate your nerves. Some people still don't do well with them, but at least they're not irritating your nervous system and making you more vulnerable, you know, to a virus not going dormant. Uh, number three is avoiding heavy metals wherever you can. And thankfully, we don't have as much exposure in our environment as we used to. You know, when I was growing up, we had lead in the paint, lead in the pipes, lead in the gasoline. You know, we, they filled our teeth with silver fillings, you know, that were about 50% mercury, et cetera, et cetera. But you're still gonna get some exposure in the modern world. Um, aluminum is a big one, aluminum cans, aluminum in your deodorant. So you want to avoid heavy metals as much as you can, and then do regular detoxification to pull these things out of your system. Um, number four, uh, if you get a, another virus, so it, that virus you can get naturally. So let's say you, um, let's say you've had COVID and you start having a, a fever blister flare, that's a herpes virus. That's going to also like it, when one virus goes, it allows others to express as well. That just means your nervous system needs support and nutritionally you need support. Then number five is avoiding pesticide exposure. Oh my gosh. Pesticides work by killing the bug by destroying its central nervous system. So when you um, have a bug running across the floor and you shoot it with a can of Raid, you'll see it twitch and twitch, and then it just falls over and twitches until it dies. Well, what's happened is you've just destroyed the nerves of that bug, and that's what killed it. So we're not gonna drop over, but we do get affected by those things. So when you have lawn treatments, when the bug guy comes and treats inside your home, you wanna minimize those in every way that you possibly can. The next one is mold. I've done a lot of videos about mold. It is nasty for a number of different reasons, 
but one of those reasons is it is a neurological toxin. So it does affect your nervous system. And so if you're living or working in an environment that is moldy, that could be contributing to your long haul, you know, symptoms that you're having. Now, from a nutritional standpoint, vitamin D and vitamin B12 are very, very important for your nerve function. So your vitamin D should be between 60 and 80 on a blood test, not just in the normal range, like normal goes from 30 to 100. You want an optimal range. You can test your vitamin D. It's super, super easy. You can ask your doctor to do it at your next checkup, or you can go to directlabs.com and order a vitamin D test yourself. It's very inexpensive. But getting that level up to the 60 to 80 mark is going to be very protective. Now, vitamin B12, you can also order that blood test. Vitamin B12, you want to be at the very top of the normal range. So there's, there's optimal ranges in, in these different tests. And for B12, you want to be at the top of the normal range. All of those are factors that will allow a virus to continue to wreak havoc on your body. And so the more of them you can handle, the easier you can heal. There are other things you can do as well that I'll cover in a different video, but those are the basics. You can take all the supplements in the world, but if you're sleeping by your cell phone, spraying your house with pesticides, cooking in aluminum cookware, you're setting yourself up for failure.